Welcome dear friends. Today I am going to give a short overview about the tools used in Katia. There are many toolbars in Katia. Basically the window you are seeing right now is the window where your object appears in 3D view. So first of all you have to sketch the object and then you have to project it in 3D view. So for sketching an object we have to select a plane where our sketch will be there. So this is the sketcher. Yes, we will click on the sketcher and now we are in the sketcher mode. So there are many tools in the sketcher mode. So basically there are as the number of tools is more some tools get hidden. So first of all when you are starting on an unknown computer you just click on the toolbar somewhere on the toolbar that is a right click and customize click on customize then go to toolbars you have click on restore all content restore all and then restore position and click ok so this will just restore all the toolbars used in Katia that is in the sketcher mode and it will also restore their position so it will be easy for you for finding the new tools and accidentally if you don't find any tools just right click on the toolbar and then you can select which of the any tool that you want and just hide or show the tools so for example if I want to hide this constraint toolbar so I'll just hide it so you can see here as now I'll just bring the constraint toolbar back and see the constraint this has this is the constraint toolbar it has come back so this is the way to res reset the tools in Katia. So now we will directly start with some of the tools. So basically this is the sketcher and this is the compass. This compass indicates that way on which plane you are sketching. So this is the X Z plane. So this is the X Z plane and this Y, y axis that is just away from the means this is just perpendicular to the screen so it is just indicated by a dot this is the compass this indicates the plane that you are weaving and so from we will just go from right top to bottom this this icon which shows an arrow out of the out of a rectangle this is the exit workbench icon so Basically when you finish sketching in the sketcher you have to click this exit workbench so you will go in the 3D space. So this is a sketcher that is a 2D, a 2D space and when you exit the workbench you will go in 3D. So some of the options are not active because you did not sketch anything. Some options need to have a sketch so they can be active. So this is a select arrow and below that there is a constraint constraint what is constraint constraint is actually giving dimensions and fixing a position or giving dimensions to a particular object and fixing it with respect to the planes so this is constraint okay for example i'll just bring these tools out in Katia you can customize the tools wherever you want and fix the position as per your convenience. So this is the profile toolbar. As you can see here, this is the profile toolbar. In this profile toolbar, basically when you open Sketcher, you need this toolbar the most. That is the profile toolbar. In this profile toolbar, first option is profile. That profile means I'll just show you profile means you can draw any profile on your sketcher if you want to draw a circle you can draw so this is the profile this is this is the profile toolbar if you do any mistake in the sketcher you can just con press ctrl z and redo the sorry undo the means undo the changes so that is the shortcut else if you want to 
delete anything just drag just click and drag it and just press the delete button it will be deleted the second option in the profile toolbar is about rectangle so if you want to draw in a rectangle or rectangular shape you can just click on rectangle and give the first point and the second point so this will be the rectangle now one thing that when you select a profile suppose this rectangle and when you click any point so there appears one toolbar named sketch tools so I'll just align it over at the top and as you can see this is the first point which I have given and as I move the pointer sorry as I move the pointer the sketch tools will display the coordinates so this sketch tools expands when you select any tool so this is the second option that is rectangle now if you want to delete just left, right click and drag and just press delete ok the third option as you can see it is a circle just specify the center point and the radius and you will get a circle so this is a circle then I will delete the circle the next option is spline spline means an irregular or curved shape that you want to draw so you can draw using this spline some objects need a curve or just just as you can see on the screen so this is the requirement of some figure so you can draw it from this spline so if I want to delete I will just click and drag and press delete ok now the fourth option is ellipse here as you click ellipse the sketch tools expand the major radius you can just give it here the minor radius and the angle so the angle is with respect to the horizontal so for drawing the ellipse just give the center point and give the second point that is major axis and give the third point that is the minor axis ok this is your ellipse now the four, the uh, there is a line so if you want to draw any line you can draw using this ok these are the options but as you can see a arrow in the profile so this black black arrow indicates that there means it can expand that rectangle profile so in rectangle profile there is oriented triangle parallelogram elongated hole so there are many options we will see it later in circle also there there is arc three point circle two point circle okay there are many options we will see later this is uh, just overview so this you have seen this profile so now i'll just delete this ok so here that is the constraint option ok so for what this constraint is used suppose I want to draw a rectangle so I will just click the first point the second point ok now constraint is giving dimensions so just click constraint and right click sorry left click left click again right click and allow symmetry line and give the symmetry about vertical axis again select constraint left click left click allow symmetry line and give constraint about horizontal axis so this constraint allows you to give dimensions symmetries and co coincidence or coeccentricity so this constraint is very important in fixing the position so now just we have as you can see this rectangle is symmetrical about vertical and horizontal axis so as you expand above the horizontal axis it will also expand in the downward direction and similar way in the sides also so now if you want to fix this so just give the constraints to the sides and I will give it 160 ok and also to the other side 
that is 160 so now as you can see if I click and drag it will not drag so this position of the square is fixed so this is the importance of constraint constraint means you must fix a fix the object with respect to the planes so that it does not change its position and also you get a perfect geometry so this is the importance of constraint now for example i'll just take a circle and just drag it okay the center point and the radius so now if you want to give the radius or diameter of the circle then just click constraint and click on the circumference okay now you can give the diameter I have given it 140 and as you can see the circle is white the, the colors play a very important role in Katia the, uh, now this diameter is green so diameter is fixed now it can change but as you can see the circle is still white white indicates that it is not fully constrained sketch okay so to do it fully constrained you have to fix the center with respect to the axis so just click the constraint and select the axis so here it is you can give the dimensions now as you can see if I just click and drag the circle anywhere it does not move that means the sketch is fully constrained so when the color changes to green the sketch is fully constrained and if the color if you over constraint it that is again give constraint for example here I will give it so click constraint and here so this color has changed to purple that means the sketch is over constraint means you have given constraint and again over constraint is uh, over constraint is there so the sketch turns to purple so this is the importance of color in the Katia so now this is the constraint toolbar and this is the profile toolbar profile toolbar so yeah we have seen that profile and constraint I just delete this okay below that okay this toolbar I just place it over here and drag it so that you can see the name so this toolbar as you can see it is named operation so this is important as you can see the first option is corner the second is chamfer trim mirror and projector element so so in this operation toolbar you can give chamfer fillet edge fillet corner trim anything so for example i'll just draw a square okay i'll just constrain it left click left click allow right click allow symmetry line about horizontal axis constraint left click left click allow symmetry line about horizontal axis sorry sorry about vertical axis left click left click allow symmetry line about vertical axis so this is the sketch okay now if you want to give a corner that is a corner with a radius so in the operation toolbar you can see the first op option that is corner just click the corner point and just bring the radius or just bring the pointer inside so it is impossible to trim a length and element yeah just click here and you can give the radius i will just give it 40 oh sorry it has become 410 i will give it 40 so as you can see the radius is 40 you can do it for all sides so this is the importance of corner uh, operation so this is chamfer in corner you get a curved radius in chamfer you get a plain plain surface so this is the importance of operation toolbar i'll align it here 
now as you can see you can't see much tool bars now the scale over here it indicates measure between that means if you want to measure distance between two lines just click here click here and it will give you the distance okay so here it is displaying the distance minimum distance okay now as you go on using this sketcher you will come to know about more about the toolbars in it so basic toolbar is this profile toolbar the trim toolbar that is eraser if you want to erase anything you can just click and erase it so this is the profile toolbar the operation toolbar and this constraint toolbar so this is very important constraint and profile so today we will stop here with this uh, short overview and thank you hope you have enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you